Yo, what's up everybody? Jumping here, and today I want to talk about the Wester Gun in Borderlands 3. This is a really awesome weapon, and it's interesting because it seems like a lot of people don't really understand that this is a great weapon. It's kind of confusing to me. Now recently they came out with a lot of buffs and nerfs, and people were pretty upset with some of the nerfs, but they did rebuff the Wester Gun, and that was actually surprising to me. Because last time they actually buffed Mali One weapons, me and my friends, we were playing around with the Wester gun. And we all agreed that it was really good. Now, was it the best gun? No. But it was a really good gun. And now they went ahead and buffed it again by 25%. Which was kind of crazy. And I watched a lot of videos of people talking about the nerfs and the buffs. And every time people were bringing up the Wester gun, they were talking about it like it was really bad. And that even though they buffed it, it probably wasn't going to be good. And I was really surprised by that because I was under the impression that it was already really good. But now, it is actually really amazing. Now the one that you want by far, and this could be the thing that people don't play around with, is you want to get a binary Wester gun. That's the key. Now this can come with different damages on it. The one I have has 399 times 2. I've seen these come with 500 times 2, so if you could get one of the higher damage ones, you could. This one has a bigger magazine than the ones that would come with 500 times 2. But one of the things that makes this gun so insane is if you can get the anointed effect on it, which is on action skill and splash damage is increased by 125% for a short time. Now there are other anointed effects that are very good, but this is a splash damage weapon. And from my testing, if you actually do have that anointed perk, whenever your action skill will end, this weapon will double in damage. And it is brutal, super, super powerful weapon once you have that anointed effect going. Now I'm going to show you how to get this weapon, and the best part about this weapon is that this is the easiest weapon in the entire game to farm. Alrighty guys, so this is where you can find the Westergon. It's on Athena's, and you will have to do a side quest, which is Invasion of Privacy. You get that from Ava early on. Once you have fully completed the quest, you can then come back here to farm private beans over and over again, and every single time you kill him, he will drop a Wester gun. Sometimes he can even drop two of them. It is a guaranteed drop, which is absolutely insane. It makes it so easy to farm for it, because you're guaranteed to get one every single time. Now this is the initial fast travel station over here, so you're going to have to make your way through a little bit until you will make it to this bridge area. And right next to the bridge will be a checkpoint, and this is where you can spawn in if you save and quit. Now the thing about this weapon, and it's kind of interesting, is that because it's so easy to farm, you could sit here for many, many hours trying to get a binary one. And remember, you really want to get a binary anointed one if possible. Now next week, they will have an event where anointed gear is going to drop more frequently. So... I would definitely say next week you might want to sit here and farm for this weapon to try to get a binary anointed one. Now from this location all you have to do is just simply run over here and for the most part you can kind of skip most of the enemies over here and we need to make our way to where Private Beans is. And then he's a pretty easy kill so just go ahead and take him out and every single time he will drop a Wester gun. Now, I personally feel like this could be glitched in some way. I feel like this was meant to be a guaranteed drop the first time you kill him during the side quest. But in reality, he doesn't drop anything when you kill him initially in the side quest. And then when you come back here, every single time he will drop the weapon. And sometimes he can drop two. And I actually did get an anointed one here. I really do like that anointed effect for Flak, and I do want to get a binary one with that effect on it. So I will continue to farm for this until I do get one. Now I'm going to show you some gameplay of this weapon so you can see on how powerful it can really be. I really like it a lot on Flak, and I like it on Amar as well. Alrighty guys, so now I'm going to show some gameplay of this weapon, but... Keep in mind, my SMGs are being buffed right now due to this mayhem effect, so I want you to understand that. 
but this weapon when it's buffed or when it's not buffed it actually really makes no difference now if it's completely nerfed it can suffer a little bit but for the most part you're pretty much good i've even had times where i haven't had any weapon nerfs but i've had incinerary damage nerf and this one i have it has incinerary and cryo and i'm using it on flak right now and remember this is my rack attack flak build which i really love i actually made a video about this recently but the main thing about this particular build is that it's so easy to keep anointed effects going and you can see that the damage I'm getting, especially on crits right now, is absolutely insane. I've seen these numbers be outrageous at times. But right now, after using my rack attack, almost every shot is doing like 10,000 at least. And sometimes it's popping up with insane numbers. So it just depends. You can kind of see right there. Remember, this weapon also has splash damage on it. So because of that... You can actually hit multiple enemies at once with it. It is outrageous. But you definitely want to get the binary one. I definitely will say that much. The normal ones are good, but the binary ones are amazing. Especially if you can get one that is anointed. So now I'm going to switch over to Amara. I want to show you what it's like on her as well. Because recently they did nerf some of her best SMGs. Like the Cutsman and the Crossroad. And I think that the Western Gun can now come in and take the spot of those SMGs because it is extremely powerful on Amara as well. Alrighty guys, well I'm on Amara now and as you can see I still have the buff for SMGs. That way Flak and Amara they're on an even playing field so when I'm demonstrating this. This weapon is so good on Flak and it's really good on Amara as well. Especially because you have Phase Grass and you can link the damage. And this build I'm using is a phase grass damage build, so keep that in mind. But this weapon is also really good on the gunner because of the splash damage. Now, in my personal opinion, I don't think it's as good on the gunner just because you can't really take advantage of anointed perks easily on the gunner like you can on Amara or like you can on Flak. But it is still a really good weapon on her as well. And on Zane, it's a fine weapon but I definitely think that it's the best on Flak and Amara. Now, when it comes to the gun, I'm using the exact same gun right now. It has the splash damage on action skill N. This is really good on Amara, especially if you pick him up with phase grass to kill that target first. That way your action skill is over and then the weapon is buffed or you can miss your phase grass on purpose to buff it before you actually do your damage. Now, this other one I have here, I wanted to actually show this because this is another binary one. But this one has 512 times 2. It has an anointed perk for lifesteal. So I don't really like it for that. But it does have higher base damage. The magazine is 26 compared to 48. And I think that's really the big difference. Now another thing about this weapon. I definitely feel like you do want to get one with fire if possible. And then the other effect should be something to help you deal with armor. So having corrosion is nice. Or having cryo is nice to help you deal with armor target so let's go ahead and take out some enemies now i'm gonna go ahead and just miss this on purpose so i can get my perk going and now i'm just going to melt everything and it is absolutely insane on amara and it's great on black just because you can really take advantage of these perks this guy's fire but i still melted him no problem whatsoever now let me go ahead and pick up one of these guys. And this should link them all as well, which is going to help a bunch. Took out that guy. Even armor targets, like for the most part, especially if you do have some buffs. If you're going against armor normally, fire is not very good. But as you can see, it does not matter against these guys because I am just absolutely melting them. Especially once I have my anointed perk going, that's when it's going to really be good. If I need to deal with something like a fire enemy that will resist fire, though, I can always switch to ice, and that will help me big time as well. Let me go ahead and take this guy out. But yeah, this weapon is so, so good. And I'm just surprised that so many people don't like it, because I've heard people talk about this weapon, especially ever since they buffed it, when they were talking about the patch notes. And a lot of people have said, you know, tell me if you think the Wester gun is good or not. And I'm just like shocked by that because it's like, yeah, 
The Wester Gun is great. The Wester Gun, though, in my opinion, was really good with the last patch when they buffed Maliwan. So when they buffed it again, I was like, dude, the Wester Gun's going to be amazing now. And it is absolutely amazing. Alrighty, guys, well, that's going to do it for the video. I really hope that you have enjoyed it and that this has helped. If it has, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe for future Borderlands 3 content. I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff like builds, tutorials, guides, and exploits and cheats. Pretty much anything you can think of when it comes to this game. If I feel like it's something I want to cover, I will try to cover it. So make sure to click the bell if you want to stay notified. But that's going to do it for me. So I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day and peace out.